to share on my channel was, well, you guys are gonna know all my secrets. Um, I am an amazing cook. One of my favorite things to make um, that's quick and easy is uh, chicken soup that I throw in the crock pot and I take the chicken carcasses that the chickens that you buy at Costco or um, the already cooked ones at any store and boil them until the meat starts to fall off the bones and then I uh, will pick all the meat off most of the meat try not to put bones in but I have eaten a bone or two and then I'll just take some russet potatoes, red potatoes, whatever you have, an onion, some carrots, throw them all in a crock pot. I just wanted to add a little bit about uh, nutrition, um, which is super important because um, we are athletes. I have, uh, as I always say, a limited amount of time. And uh, so what I do is I have a tiny little refrigerator in my office, um, in my house that uh, currently, has nothing but protein in it. Um, I have found a protein drink that I like, um, and then the protein bars that I uh, don't super like, because if I really like them, then I will make a meal out of them three times a day. Uh, so I have found um, some at Costco that uh, work for me and um, I just really try to keep myself fueled through the day and again I, I have a hard time with time and once I start working the horses then I don't want to stop working them uh, to, to stop to eat um, so the protein bars the protein drinks I like um, nuts and peanuts uh, so I'll keep some of those on hand um, and uh, drink a lot of water. I drink um, as much water as I can get down in a day. Each time I want to try to give you guys another uh, short, quick little dinner that you guys can put together um, that doesn't take a whole bunch of time or a whole bunch of ingredients because my other issue is getting to the grocery store because if I have a choice between riding a horse or going to the grocery store, I'm gonna ride the horse and I might go to the grocery store. Or I have a friend that I send to the grocery store for me. Um, so I keep everything real basic and uh, easy for me. And um, when I pack to travel, I'll give you guys some tips on things that I take with me to horse shows uh, or teaching uh, to make sure that I do stay fueled and eat because it's really easy to forget and not eat. And then you're not on your A game and your body's not. Um, healing and maintaining itself. One of my goals of my channel is to give people, especially horseback riders, ideas on how to stay fit um, and strong enough 
to uh, ride better, more effectively. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you what I have in my house. Um, I have a very small house and I have a roommate. Um, so I can't have my stuff all over the place like I would like to, but we don't really have a living room. So I put my treadmill and my Schwinn, as I call it, machine out here in the living room. I have a pull-up bar that I will hang on my door. Uh, um, I won't leave it up there because you can't get your door shut. I do pull-ups a little bit, but um, not very often. They're embarrassing for me to do. I have a blown-up exercise ball that I hide in my closet, and you can hear the dog behind me. Um, in the corner of my room, I have a step um, and I do have the risers for it and I use my step to do um, jumps on lunges. Uh, I incorporate a little bit of CrossFit into my program and um, not to give away all the secrets but what I have done is I have found exercises that I enjoy doing and that uh, will help me with my riding. I want to, down the road, come up with um, just uh, workout routines that may be fun for, for you to try. Um, and everything with me is about saving time. And um, with my background with personal training and uh, my ability to really listen to my body. I have just come up with a system that works for me and that I can actually have the time to commit to it and to stick to it. I have a thick mat um, that I will roll out to do my ab work on. I'll do my lunges on it. Um, it slides, so I also have a uh, yoga mat. I have a set of uh, dumbbells. I have a 20 pound set, a five pound set, and an eight pound set, and that seems to work for me with the dumbbells. And then I have kettlebells that um, I have a 35, and I just got off of Amazon a 20, a 15, and a little tiny 10. Um, they're so cute. And this is Clea, here to help. Um, and then I have my ab roller that I actually use a lot. And that's it. That's what I have in my home gym. Tiny notebook, little tiny notebook that was actually customized by my Border Collie um, that I will write down little work workouts for myself um, and when I get bored and want to come up with new ideas I watch YouTube I hope this helps um, and gives you a little bit of inspiration that you don't have to um, have a whole bunch of equipment taking up a whole bunch of room literally I have a tiny little basket that I shove all of my weights and my mats back in in the corner of my room the sky's the limit like no other. So I'm having gravel delivered today and I have to get the mud out of the way with the tractor. So wish me luck. 